Hello again, welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about the Winter Flowering Jasmine series that I've been recording recently. I've had a few comments on one of the last videos regarding um, some browning of the leaves and even flower buds when people are bringing their jasmine in at this time of year and uh, I really want to give you some advice about that. So in the last video I talked about uh, leaving your jasmine plant outside um, to get some of the, the cold um, November temperatures to induce flowering because there needs to be a period of cold to set off the, um, the flower buds to actually be produced. So that's what we were doing on the last video. And at this time of year now, we've got loads of frosts, certainly in the UK. Um, and the temperatures, daytime temperatures are down to uh, minus one, minus two Celsius. Uh, that's going to be too cold for the plant. It will just stop it and it may die off. It will, it will come back the next year. They are uh, winter hardy if you keep them in their garden all year round. No problem at all. But if you want to have your jasmine inside and flowering for the winter, which is what I always like to do, uh, my process is to keep it outside until the end of autumn, just before the frost, so it gets cold air to induce uh, the flower buds, which have now happened, and then I bring it into the house. And I did say in that last video, the transition is important, and you need to make sure that you have a like an unheated conservatory, um, a back porch or a front porch which isn't heated or has a little heat in it because the transition from outside to inside needs to be as gradual as possible. It's going to be used to being in cold temperatures, maybe 10 degrees Celsius, maybe 5 degrees Celsius, and coming from that into like a 20 degrees Celsius heated um, house is going to be quite a shock. And I think it's the dry... Um, less humid air and the heat combined with the shock of the difference that is causing the leaves to dry out and the flower buds to dry up as well. Obviously you need to continue with the watering, um, that's important. So if you're finding that uh, the plant's drying out quicker, which it will do inside uh, because it will be drier, so it will dry out quicker. You need to adjust your watering, but also the humidity is an issue. So if you can, I appreciate that not everyone has an unheated greenhouse or an unheated conservatory, sorry, or a back porch or something. I appreciate that maybe you don't have enough rooms in your house and you only have the inside which is centrally heated. So I understand that. Uh, so to offset that as much as you can, put it in the coolest room that you have. Maybe you have a spare room where the heating is down low. Put it in that one if you can. Still with plenty of light if possible. That's important. And um, yeah, get some humidity on there because the central heating dries out the air in your house. And so you want to be able to get as much humidity for it as you can. So if you have a humidifier for your house plants anyway, get that going and put it next to your plant so you can raise the humidity in the area of the plant. That's gonna help the, the plant not dry out and not have the leaves dry out. Um, so I think that's probably what's happening. It's the transition, it's the shock between the temperature outside and the temperature inside, which is why I always say try and put it in an unheated room because what's really chilly for us is still going to be relatively warm compared to the outside for the plant. So that's where I have my jasmine at the moment. We'll go down and have a look in my back porch where I have the rest of my house plants at the moment. It's one of the brightest rooms I have. And it seems it's a bit of an experiment this year. I've got a lot more of my house plants in there, which I'm thinking a lot of them are tropical house plants. They're not going to appreciate the colder temperatures. And trust me, in there at night is probably dropping really far down. But I think a lot of plants over winter, they'll suffer more with a lack of daylight than they will the lower temperatures. That's what I'm finding anyway, because a lot of the other rooms in my house are warmer but don't have as much sun on that side of the house. I only have a certain number of rooms in my house with really good south facing sun coming in. So it does seem that they do prefer uh, to take the lower temperatures and more sunlight than the, uh, the better temperatures, but lower light. That's what I found anyway. So let's go down and have a look at how the jasmine's getting on and I'll give you a few more tips. 
Okay, so I'm here in my back porch where I keep a lot of my houseplants over the winter. And as you can see, there's a fair amount behind me. I'll give you a closer look in a second. Um, it is cooler out here. Um, I've got a small radiator at the back that isn't on, and that's the only heat source I have. So right now, it probably feels barely 10 degrees in here. So it's pretty, pretty chilly. But as you can see, let me just swing around. So we've got quite a few down here. We've got a curry plant, we've got a jade plant, a uh, Tradescantia, we've got a rubber plant there. There is a, a philodendron, silver sword, and we've got all sorts kick around. Um, there's a palm over the back there, and no one is showing any signs of suffering as a result of the colder temperatures. So that just gives you an idea. That's even a new leaf. Uh, for the silver sword, which is interesting. It's still growing. That's very surprising. It's beautiful, isn't it? What a lovely leaf. And it's actually down the bottom here. We've got some, some other smaller plants growing from the base. So it really is. And in fact, let's have a look over here. There is a new leaf coming out for the palm also. So, you know, it's showing reasonable signs. Uh, this one here, no one's really wilting. No one's got any signs of really suffering. So all in all, I think my sort of experiment on the temperatures that these plants will tolerate seems to be that the answer is at the moment pretty low. Now, that aside, here is my jasmine that you've all seen several times if you've been following the series. Um, as you can see, it's looking perfectly healthy and they're hard to see because they're very small. If I zoom in, you'll see it's absolutely covered in flower buds now. Now it's, it's a light background, so I don't know how well that will pick it up, but I'll zoom in in a few areas, but it's absolutely covered, which is what we want. And as you can see, the leaves are fine. There's no drying. I can't see one dry leaf at all. Absolutely fine. And there are hundreds and hundreds of flower buds on there and that's what it's been all about growing it throughout the summer season giving it some food uh, and pruning it back on occasion because every time we prune it back it forks again on another vine and every single time you cut it back you're getting more of this density which i've been training uh, this dense bush here because then you're going to maximize the amount of flower coverage which I think we've done this year. There are plenty of them, and each of these are going to be newer flowers, even down here. I don't know if that's gonna focus. We've still got new growth, and each new growth is bringing its own flower buds. It really is hard to just show exactly how many flowers there are on this. It's gonna be caked in them, and it's looking pretty happy and pretty healthy. And I think partly the reason is there's, I'm not putting any additional humidity in here, um, but it's probably not bad because of the amount of other plants. All these other plants are um, transpiring and giving off um, their own humidity. And when you group plants together, the humidity will be better. So that will help, I imagine. Um, but also, you know, it's not too warm and the air isn't being dried out uh, by the central heating in this room anyway so that's it really for this one i just wanted to address those few issues uh, if you haven't got anywhere in your house which is cooler where you can keep your plant for now um, then try and raise the humidity make sure you keep it watered uh, and keep an eye on that so it doesn't dry out and then um, the next step whilst i'm keeping it here as you can see the flower buds are uh, at the moment they're not really uh, doing much. This is getting quite quite a bit bigger. They just keep getting bigger and bigger. So this is the first sign, but I think it's still going to be another few more weeks at the very least uh, before it was, should be the other side of Christmas. And these other ones are much, much smaller. So these ones, it will be a, a fair bit longer before they come out. And then they're all different sizes, which is actually quite good. These are really small, these ones, uh, which means they're going to be a lot longer so we should have a really long flowering season but this is the 
the, the biggest one that will be out first. But even so, you know, it still could be another month before they start to open. And when they really do start opening and we get the beginning of the flowering, that's when I'm going to bring this inside the house into my living space to enjoy. But that's only at the last moment because the increased heat will uh, speed up this whole process. And if I was to bring this now into the heat, it would induce all of these to flower. And what I want to do is, is leave it as long as possible because whilst we're leaving it longer, we're getting more and more flower buds coming out. All of these are new flower buds that are coming out right now as we speak. And so I'm trying to, to keep it as long as possible. If you put it straight into the heat, then um, they'll grow, they'll flower and they'll die and you'll have a, a slower, uh, you'll have a quicker flowering period but it will be shorter and what I want to do is basically create the biggest amount of flowers for the longest period of time is what we're trying to do here so everything is on track everything's looking good and uh, hopefully if you're following along your jasmine is also doing well uh, keep me posted on how you're getting on those guys that are seeing some some browning leaves get that humidity up, keep an eye on the watering and try and keep them as cool as possible at this moment. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you found this useful. Subscribe for more houseplant related videos coming along very soon. Bye for now.